Hey! So today is an exciting day as we are putting up our new fantastic fly screens ready for summer. Come on! If you're new here, we're Tom and Jord and we travel full time around our home, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Be sure to check out our travel videos and click that like and subscribe button if you want to see more. Hey guys, so we got our delivery of our new fly screens for our sliding door from Yay. Australia. It's a company called Fantastic Seven Spirit. Yeah, so as you would have seen before, we um, used to have uh, bug mesh screens, also from Aussie, but we found that they were more of a temporary thing for, you know, weekend warriors. There was some Velcro involved, there's a bit more flimsy, they fell down a few times and as we live full time in the van, we wanted something a bit more permanent, didn't we? Yeah, so we searched high and low and we were very close to buying some really good quality screens from the States. Luckily, we found these ones just over the ditch in Aussie for like just over $300, which is like less than a third of the price of what the States would have been. Yeah, as you would have seen, we've got quite a few items from the States, our friends over there, because of the quality involved. Like they've been doing things uh, maybe longer when it comes to vans and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But um, we're really lucky to find these just like Tom said, over the ditch and they got here in like a week. What are they made of? Yeah, so they um, custom make them and it takes them about a week and they're made from a heavy duty polyester thing just feels nice heavy duty it's gonna last yeah it's not yeah it's decent stuff like it won't tear uh, this will be perfect and we did ask because we all know what New Zealand summers can be like this will keep midges out not only the big so bugs, the smallest ones but the yeah. little ones as well so we will give you an update in a couple of months if it does actually work so these will be installed around the seal of the door we'll have to take the, the seal off it's better to install with two people, apparently. And that's what they say, so. Hi. They're not just for Mercedes sprinters either. They do them for trannies, crafters, loads of different vans. So just look on their website, we'll put it in, just get in touch. Yeah, so when you go onto their website, you can do custom orders. So you can choose the width of the, the zip and you can put pictures of your van in so they can like customize because each van is different. Yeah, and we actually decided to go for the wider width for the OP. Our friends at Fantastic have given us a discount to give to you guys so you'll get 8% off your order of these fly screens or their products and um, just check their website out, put all the details in. So you're welcome. So we'll just show you the whole thing. Oh, it looks massive, doesn't it? So yeah, it's got these two zips. I mean, all of this will be hidden behind the weather seal. These come with a two year warranty as well. So if you do have any issues, you can always go back to them. And yeah, really happy with the quality, eh? Yeah. So in the pack, you also get some instructions, a leaflet for the website, and some clips to help secure it against the edges whilst you install it. So we have to start by taking the weather seal off, which is this strip around the outside. Well, that's easy yeah look at that just comes straight off so it does tell you to mark on here where each bit is so that when you put it back on you know where to put it so i'll have to do that with a, with a pen as well so the only thing we do have is this really tricky bit here which is a bit tight but it should be able to just pull out if i give it a bit of force So now the rubber seal's off, we've just got to hang this in place where we want it with the clips. There's a massive spider there. We've currently got a huntsman living with us. I haven't told Tom until now. Let's get these clips out. currently 30 degrees at the moment and no breeze. 
and a few bugs around. This really? might take a while. Oh. Nice. No. Break. So either they didn't provide enough clips or we've lost them, so we need to use pegs. Yeah, there wasn't many in there. So, we've got it in place with all the clips. So, what they've done is let the fabric overhang. That way you can choose roughly where you want it. So you have to get it in place first. Now is the tricky bit. I thought that was tricky. Ah, oh, this is the easy bit. Okay. So we were a bit concerned about the height of this. This is where it rolls up. Um, are we gonna hit our head all the time? So the answer is yes. We most probably will hit our head, um, unless of course we duck a bit. But I don't think it's gonna be a major problem. Just something you get used to, I guess. So the whole thing just fell down <laughs> and it's too hot. So we're giving up today. So see you when it's cooler or nighttime. <laughs> so we think we've got it in place. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hopefully. This is the rubber seal that we need to put back on. It says to start in the middle at the top. This might be a bit fiddly, mightn't it? Uh, you can see why it's a two person jobby. Yeah. So it's just a bit fiddly because the, the metal thing, frame, this came off of, pushes in this gap and obviously you can't see the gap so you just got to feel your way. So supposedly, what it's being held on with is the rubber. Okay. So, we've finally done it. It's all <laughs> It was hard. It was pretty hard, just had to hammer all these bits in like that. But, we've just got it open, we've decided we're gonna take it down again. <laughs> because we didn't realize that really this, this side's got more fabric on and it should have gone on this side. There's a certain way it needs to go on because then what we want to do is have this right back here. Just so the opening to walk in is a bit wider because obviously this space here we don't use anyway. So this will come to there. So the fabric here isn't as wide on this side, yeah. which we didn't realize. So I, I can't pull it out anymore because it's there's no fabric to, to pull out. The whole thing needs shifting that way slightly but it can't be done so we have to flip it take it down flip it but yeah one side has longer material than the other and then this will all come off this all cuts yeah, off so all this cut excess this off so it's quite tricky but you have to cut it as close or quite close to the rubber so then it I might have to go over it but yeah it's coming all off so I didn't quite get the fly net finished yesterday. It's just a few little loose ends, literally, that I have to finish off today. I'll just show you. But on this side, I didn't cut very close. There's quite a bit hanging out still. What I'm gonna do is just actually push it underneath the seal, which has worked quite well on this side. You can't see it. You can just sort of like push it behind. So we're gonna do that all the way around to tidy it up, otherwise you can see. And also on this side, so we've run into troubles on this little bit here. So if you do have a similar van, you might get stuck up where this cabinet, it's quite hard to put the seal back on. I've actually just chipped away a bit more of the cabinet, which you can't really see anyway. And yeah, once I've done those bits, I'll show you the finished product. Hey guys, so we're in the bush with got the fantastic fly net up and we've had it up for like a week nearly two weeks just testing it see how it see how it goes and i can safely say that it keeps out all the bugs it's absolutely fantastic and we're, we're really happy with the um, finished product so from the inside you can see it's all seamless makes it more private so gives it this 
dark look you can't see straight in anymore in the van so it was quite hard initially to install it but we got there in the end it's a really really good design it doesn't have any bugs in at all the uh, New Zealand midges are really small so these will still protect you from the midges there's like a double zip so you can unzip it and zip it from either side whether you're indoors or outdoors so we actually went for a really wide door you can custom order your size um, so as you can see it just zips up and it leaves basically no material here which is what we wanted and there's another zip on this side we only ever need to unzip this side though when we're going in and out of the van so even with our sideboard here it's like well clear of it you can just stay clear of anything that might even pop out a little bit because there's excess material you can work around things and yeah get in open it up and put it back down when we're not somewhere with flies that's it there's just some velcro straps at the top and it's well out of the way we actually chose to have it up really high we pulled the material up higher so if we ever want to put it down 